Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on the fascia iliaca block. Introduction The fascia iliaca block was developed initially as an alternative to the femoral perivascular 3-in-1 block in children, which also aims to block the femoral, lateral cutaneous, and obturator nerves. Being a facial plane block, it takes advantage of the anatomical relationship of the femoral nerve to the fascia iliaca. Some studies claim that the fascia iliaca block provides better analgesia than either femoral or 3-in-1 blocks. In essence, the fascia iliaca block is a different mode of detection rather than a different nerve block when compared with the 3-in-1 block. Advantages of the fascia iliaca block includes it is a simple technique, it is safe and reliable, it reliably blocks the femoral nerve with minimal risk of femoral artery, vein or nerve puncture. It does not require a peripheral nerve stimulator or ultrasound as its safety relies on the injection site being well lateral to the femoral artery. There is a higher associated blockade of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh than the perivascular approach. Disadvantages of the fascia iliaca block It does not reliably block the obturator nerve. Care should be made to not exceed the safe LA dose limit as the fascia iliaca block is a large volume block. 30 to 40 ml of LA may be necessary. Anatomy The fascia iliaca is adherent to and covers the internal surface of the iliacus. Attachments The cephalat attachment. It fuses with the posterior lumbar fascia at its origin from the iliac crest. Lateral attachment. It fuses with the origin of the iliacus. Medial attachment. It fuses with the psoas fascia, which is tightly adherent to the muscle within the pelvis and is covered anteriorly by the parietal peritoneum. Inferior attachment. It covers the iliacus as it passes behind the inguinal ligament and then fuses with the fascia of the muscles of the thigh, thickening medially into the iliopectineal ligament. LA injection in this subfascial space gives a predictable and reliable pattern of spread as its borders are well defined. LA spread cephalat and medially, LA will surround the femoral nerve a properly performed fascia iliaca block should block the femoral nerve in all instances. LA spread cephalat and laterally beneath the inguinal ligament, LA will surround the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. A properly performed fascia iliaca block should block the LC NTH in 80 to 100% of cases. The distribution of anesthesia or analgesia depends on the extent of LA spread and the nerve's block. This diagram shows the expected distribution of fascia iliaca sensory block. Indications for fascia iliaca block For anesthesia for surgery on the anterior thigh, for example, skin graft or muscle biopsy. Analgesia For hip and shaft of femur fractures and surgery to the knee. For femur fractures, paralysis and loss of spasm of the quadriceps muscle contributes more towards pain relief rather than direct analgesia of the femur. The fascia iliaca block is regularly performed by non-physicians such as paramedics, nurses, or physician assistants in the pre-hospital, emergency room, or ward environment as it is safe, simple, and reliable. Complications Major complications are rare as the fascia iliaca block is not a perineural injection and is away from major vessels. Examples of possible complications include bleeding, bruising, LA toxicity, retroperitoneal abscesses with catheters. Landmark technique. Important landmarks include the ASIS, pubic tubercle, inguinal ligament, and femoral artery. The patient is positioned supine, with lower limbs in neutral position. Identify the surface marking of the inguinal ligament, indicated by a line joining the ASIS and the pubic tubercle. Mark the needle insertion point, which is a point 1 to 2 cm inferior to the junction of the middle and lateral thirds of the line joining the ASIS and the pubic tubercle. General measures, prepare monitoring, equipment, emergency drugs, IV access, standard aseptic measures, and exercise the skin with 1% lidocaine. Needle of choice is 25 to 50 mm length short bevel needle. Short bevel needles may help in the detection of pops or facial clicks when passing through facial planes. Needle insertion, insert the needle perpendicular to the skin or 30 degrees cephalat if intending to place a catheter 
at the mark needle insertion point as mentioned above. Two pops or losses of resistance should be felt as the needle passes through the fascia lata indicated by the first pop and the fascia iliaca indicated by the second pop. Needle stimulation is not necessary as the fascia iliaca block is not a perineural injection. LA injection. Stabilize the needle and inject 5 mil aliquots of LA while aspirating regularly to exclude intravascular injection. LA dose. Do not exceed the maximum safe LA dose per kilogram body weight, especially if other concurrent nerve blocks are performed, such as the sciatic nerve block. A total of 20 to 25 mL of LA is sufficient. For example, propivacaine 0.2% for analgesia and levobupivacaine 0.5% for anesthesia. Some anesthetists apply distal pressure to direct the local anesthetic upwards. The needle injection point should always be 2 to 3 finger breaths lateral to the femoral arterial pulse. When injecting, if the subcutaneous tissues swell, the needle placement is too superficial above the fascia iliaca, withdraw the needle and reposition. If it is too difficult to inject, i.e. high resistance upon injection, the needle is probably too deep within the muscle of the iliacus. Withdraw the needle and reposition. Ultrasound Technique Introduction The benefit of the fascia iliaca block is its non-reliance on technology such as the peripheral nerve stimulator or ultrasound. However, block success with the landmark technique is sporadic due to false pops or fascial clicks. Ultrasound-guided fascia iliaca block allows monitoring of needle placement and local anesthetic delivery and ensures delivery of the LA into the correct plane. This block can be done in a similar fashion to a femoral nerve block but with the injection being more lateral away from the nerve or via a supra-inguinal approach with the injection being more proximal and there is less reliance on the proximal spread of LA to achieve blockade of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Ultrasound settings. For thin individuals, high-frequency linear broadband probe may be used. A lower-frequency curvilinear probe may be used in obese patients. Set the depth at 4 to 6 cm. Orientation depends on the approach. Needle length of choice is 80 to 100 mm. Supra-inguinal fascia iliaca block. Preliminary scan. The patient is positioned supine with lower limbs in neutral position. The ultrasound probe is placed in a parasagittal plane over the inguinal ligament close to the ASIS. Identify the ilium. Seek the hyperechoic reflection of the internal surface of the ilium. Identify the iliacus which lies superficial to the ilium. The fascia iliaca is seen as a hyperechoic layer covering the iliacus. Tilt the probe more laterally to enhance its visibility. Abdominal wall muscles may be seen cranially. It is seen overlying the iliacus as the iliacus angles deep into the pelvis superiorly. The peritoneum may lie between the abdominal wall muscles and the iliacus. Pressure from the probe should extrude abdominal contents from the peritoneum cephalat. The femoral artery can be seen if scanned inferior medially along the inguinal ligament. Scan back superior laterally to look for the ASIS, which is seen as a small peak on the surface of the ilium. The ASIS is lateral to the femoral nerve and it marks the needle insertion point. The deep circumflex iliac artery lies superficial to the fascia iliaca. Identify this artery using the color Doppler. Technique General measures Prepare monitoring, emergency drugs, IV access and equipment. Use standard aseptic measures and anesthetize the skin with 1% lidocaine. In-plane approach is recommended. Needle insertion should be at the inferior end of the probe just inferior to the inguinal ligament. The needle should pierce the fascia iliaca approximately at the level of the inguinal ligament. LA injection after negative aspiration for blood, inject 1 mL of LA to form a small black or lens deep to the fascia iliaca. Advance the needle into this black and inject the remaining local anesthetic to a total of 20 to 40 mL of dilute LA, such as ropivacaine 0.2%. LA should inject with minimal resistance and pass freely over the top of the iliacus muscle. Medial and lateral spread of LA underneath the fascia iliaca should be seen. Turn the probe through 90 degrees to image the spread of LA medially to the femoral nerve. Infrainguinal fascia iliaca block. Patient should be positioned supine with lower limbs in neutral position. 
the ultrasound probe should be placed transversely on the inguinal crease, followed by slow movement laterally or medially. Landmarks seen on the ultrasound includes the fascia iliaca, which is hyperechoic and seen superficial to the iliopsoas, the iliopsoas muscle, which is hypoechoic, the femoral nerve, visualized deep to the fascia iliaca and lateral to the femoral artery, the femoral artery, and the sartorius located laterally. General measures as described above, in-plane technique is recommended. Needle insertion. Insert the needle from lateral to medial to place its tip under the fascia iliaca approximately at the lateral third of the line connecting the ASIS to the pubic tubercle. The injection is made several centimeters lateral to the femoral artery. LA injection. After negative aspiration for blood, inject 1 mL of LA to form a small black or lens deep to the fascia iliaca. Advance the needle into this blap and inject the remaining LA to a total of 20 to 40 mL of dilute LA. LA should inject with minimal resistance and pass freely over the top of the iliacus. Medial and lateral spread of LA separating the fascia iliaca should be seen. LA should spread laterally towards the iliac spine underneath the sartorius and medially towards the femoral nerve. These are my references. Thank you.